Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm with John Bellamar from Dynamic Boats. How you doing? A relatively new player in the center console market here in South Florida. But you got some great stuff going on here, buddy. We picked up on some, some really neat features you have here. And uh, thanks for taking the time. Love to walk through your boats here and see what you got going on, Awesome, buddy. So, happy to show you around. Thanks yeah, for man. coming by. Yeah, so uh, this is our 305 DF, uh, equipped with twin 300 Mercury R racings. We got twin blade power poles. Mm -hmm. Standard feature with Seakeeper Ride, uh, Lumitech lighting packages all throughout, uh, all controlled through the Poco system and the yacht, Raymarine Yacht Sense. Jack plate, I see. Jack plate, that's right. Yeah, yeah we run the, the Sea Star Extreme Jack plate. Okay. And top speed on this boat? Top speed projected somewhere 70, 70 plus. Yeah, that's all? Yeah. Jeez. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Seems get like everything there. down here goes 70 miles an hour. So. Yeah, we'll get yeah. you there fast. Good lord. Yeah, I like it, man. Well, let's slide around. Sure. Head up the stairs and jump on board. So we're up on the stern now. Looks like you got a couple of live wells. Yep. Right here. And what do you got going on here? Additional storage or? So this is additional storage. This is an insulated storage or a cooler. Uh, same thing. It could be a live well if you really wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. We could make it deeper. It's fully customizable. So mm -hmm. it's really what the consumer wants. And then here we've got access to our bilge. Access to your bilge, you got your fuel systems, you mm -hmm. got your wash, you got your pumps, your power pole rams, your steering pumps, your bilge pumps in there. Everything's really open, easily accessible, very mm -hmm. clean installation. Uh, making sure everything's serviceability is really what's key Great for us. Great access. And then you were saying that this is customizable here. Yes, sir. And if you could uh, have a fold down seat back that could make this into a casting platform. Absolutely. Really whatever you want to do here. Yeah, we can do a casting platform here so this backrest would fold down flat here. You have a nice big platform, full sea deck or all non-skid depending on your preference. And that way you have a nice smooth casting platform. This area right here is what I call your little tow curb. Mm -hmm. That's so you make sure you actually know where you're at. So when you're sitting there mm -hmm. casting, not paying attention to where you're yeah. stepping, you're not going to accidentally step off the back of the boat. Yeah. Not that I'm speaking from experience. Oh, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I need all the help I can get in that regard. Yeah, so. me, me too. And then up to your leaning post here, we've got a leaning post here. here. This is going to be your plano box storage here. You got your wash down pump area here. Mm -hmm. You have your slide out Yeti 45 cooler in here longitudinally. And then right here also, you have your trash compartment where you can put your trash bags in. Everything stays right nice and neat there. You have an optional sink here electric grill. This has a top that comes full here, so it's nice, clean, concealed. Or you can just make this an all, you know, starboard cutting station for... Base for station, workstation. Base station, workstation. Yeah. Sliding up into the helm. Got your bolster style seats, which we love. Yeah, these are our custom uh, seats made really by us uh in in conjunction with twin marine here one thing i want to show you is how easy this operates most of them are kind of a two-handed yeah. job really when we popped into this boat yesterday i was like damn <laughs> that thing's smooth uh edson wheel edson wheel we can operate we can do that with the carbon fiber one we can do that with the wooden carbon fiber one mm -hmm. polished stainless whatever you want all adjustable tilt adjustable mm -hmm. Uh, Optimus steering is an option as well. And your joystick steering right here comes with C station, as well as your you know built-in autopilot with that system, which is a really nice feature. And uh, twin head units, and then access to your your station up top here, right? Your That's right. Yeah. So steering station. Second steering station is an option on this boat. Nice step right here. One, two, up here, mm -hmm. and you're up top, running having a great view of what you're going to hunt for. Yeah, you're going to find me up there 24-7 running this thing. Inside the cabin here, we have the largest console in its class. Plenty of room to sit down there, do your business, or do all this, have all the storage you could potentially possibly want. As everyone knows when you get on a boat, you always have tons of bags and plenty of things you want to keep dry. That's a perfect place to put it. Yeah. Right here, we got rod storage here. You're going to put your reels on that end. The tips of the rods are going to go down here. That's on the same on both sides. The reason we did this here and did it open makes the deck feel much wider, much more open. Really gives you a nice feel of walking forward in the boat. And fold down armrest. Nice lounger here, of course. And then this opens like so. 
Huge storage box there, huh? Yeah, tons of room for storage right there. And then with the wave piercing bow design, you can really get forward all the way up into the bow here. Otherwise yeah. you might be cut off back in here, but you can get way up around this bow, work a fish around up you work over the fish bow. Work a fish all the way around the front. You can really get in here, get access to your, to your anchor windlass. Yeah. And it, it is a, a unique feeling being able to get this far forward onto the bow, because you are, you're right, you're usually set yeah. back four or five feet. Mm -hmm. The nice thing is also with that nice forward bow, the European style bow, it allows you to get a really large fish box mm -hmm. all the way forward. All these have macerating gulper pumps, um, all individually operated. So when you're up here washing it out, cleaning it out with all your fish, see the switch, you right, just switch there. right here, mm -hmm. turn it on, you'll be able to pump everything out. You're not turning it on all the boxes all at one time. It really makes for a nice, efficient operation. JL audio speakers every, everywhere. We've got, you don't yeah, miss anything. Eight inch JL. Yeah. JL M6 is here. We've got our scan strut chargers mm -hmm. right here. Lighted cup holders, nice little pocket storage, especially when you're sitting up here in the lounger. You can throw your phone there while you're running and you really feel comfortable up here. Yeah, I like it, man. Let's jump off and check out the bow on this. Absolutely. Show that wave piercing bow and then uh, we'll jump over on that one. Sounds great, let's do it. So John, you were talking about where this hole planes out at and it's somewhere midships here, right? Yeah, it really does ride about midships. You know, it, it's, it's an interesting design where we have the wave piercing bow in the performance delta plane of like a performance hull boat. Mm -hmm. So really when you're riding here, you're up on your delta pad, running fast, skipping across the water. But when you get into rough conditions, you can trim the boat down, really push that bow down in the water and trim right through the, through the chop. Come That's where this comes out. in, yeah. This is the whole wave piercing bow design. This pretty much came over from Europe, right? Yeah, it's very popular in like the Scandinavian regions. Mm -hmm. You know, they tend to have that rough sea state and uh, it really does make a huge difference. It also extends your water line. So by extending your water line, you get more speed and, and you get more comfort in the water. Okay. Love it, John. Let's jump on this other 30 footer here in your booth. Perfect. And uh, laid out a little bit differently. It but, is. Uh, another cool, cool looking boat you got here. It's a, the same hull, completely different deck configuration. Mm -hmm. Looks like the T-top's back a little further. Yeah, the console's slid back, T-tops move back, you're really riding on that more of the delta plane section of the boat. As you know, most of the time when you're riding on a boat, sitting in the back of the boat is the most comfortable place to be. Mm -hmm. And being our boat, the same thing with where we talked about where the boat planes out, um, it really does, you're, you're riding at the entry point. So the whole front of the boat's out of the water, this is the most comfortable spot to be. This boat's uh, equipped with wet sound system. We've got four subs here. This boat has 18 speakers in it. Yeah. It's uh, very loud. Well, when you're going 72 miles an hour, you know. It's nice to be able to hear your music. Yeah, you know? pump it up. Absolutely. We've got nice, nice cup holders here, grab rails everywhere. Always a nice place to easily hang on to. When you're sitting back here on the back bench, you can access your Yeti cooler mm -hmm. here on your, on your, your slide out. Slide out right there. Pop right in here. Mm -hmm. You got a nice storage drawer right above it where you can put, you know, your shoes, your phone, your wallet, mm -hmm. any cleaning supplies, really anything you want to fit in there. Fish, fish. Yeah, live wells are back here. Mm -hmm. Same thing with this one. You got a large center storage. They can all be plumbed as live wells. They're all insulated, so they can be coolers. They can be live wells. You choose. We're a custom boat builder, so. Mm -hmm. And then I'm assuming this folds up like the other one, too? Let's pull this up. one does. It's a little bit different. This one yeah. has an electric uh, Lenco actuator. There we go. There's all your access. Fuel water separators. See your transducer down there. That's right. Pumps. Bilge pumps. Bilge pumps. And one of the things that you know a lot of people people ask us, you know, why do you put an electric actuator in here? One, it's just a cool little feature. But the other thing that you know people always worry about is, well, how do you get in there if that were to malfunction? Mm -hmm. You know, coming from the yacht world, we really wanted to think about accessibility and serviceability when it comes to the boat. So we put this bracket in down here. This bracket here really allows you to move mm -hmm. this much further up. So if this actuator were to ever fail in the down position, 
you can lift this up about 10 inches. Pull the pin. Reach inside, yeah. pull the pin, still have full access mm -hmm. to get to everything you need in a, mm -hmm. in a pinch. Then moving up to the helm station, once again, a one-handed bolster seat right here. That's, that's it, unheard of. It is nice. Yes. I love that. We found that on that boat over there as well. Edson wheel, controls here, joystick, and then a fully integrated MFD with all your lighting integrated right into the MFD, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. The Lumitech lighting is built into the MFD through their POCO system. Um, you can control all your different lights here. We've got spreader lights, overhead lights, cup holders, courtesy underwater lights. If I go into the overhead light here, I can change all the different colorways, you know, in which the light's going to operate. You can adjust brightness, color cycle, uh, and on the new system that we have uh, now from Lumitech, it'll even play to the beat of the music. Goodness. You know, yeah. hey, if you got it, might as well use it. Our right? Northwest builders are a little behind on this stuff. We need some lighting. We need some, you know. Yeah, but the nice the sound. thing, what I like about this is when you can go into here, you can go into it set in all these different scenes. So you could do an all red function for at night. Yeah. And you can dim it way down, so you just darken down, you're just red, mm -hmm. so you don't destroy your night vision. It, yeah. it is really useful. Yeah. And then when you get to the dock, you hit, boom, all white, and mm -hmm. now you can really clean see everything, up. clean the boat up at night, yeah. and it, it's, it is really nice. Love it, man. And then you have speakers overhead here, your yeah. Bluetooth sound system. Yeah, your wet sounds head unit here, mm -hmm. flush mounted, really nice feature. You got your engine monitoring system, your wet sound speakers. Mm -hmm. And, uh, scan strut phone chargers. Scan strut phone chargers. Typical, you know, you need your mm -hmm. compass. Your yeah. compass is located Back right there. Compass. This is your fast uh, charging, rapid charger mm -hmm. from scan strut as well. Mm -hmm. VHF's down below. Your Sea Keeper ride control panels right here. Mm -hmm. And just like on the other boat, your jack plate control system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do that. In front of the console. I've got here, buddy. Yeah, inside here you're going to find where we do all of our rigging. Uh, as you can see, yeah. we try and organize it as neatly as possible. Uh, we take pride in our rigging and really uh, make sure it's a serviceable item again, keeping that front and foremost in our mind when, when going through the design process. Plenty of room to work. Plenty of room to work. At some point, you're going to be working on this stuff, or somebody is. Exactly. Yeah. At some point, someone's going to work on it, or you're going to be working on it, and you really want to make sure that you have a clean, organized workspace. Yeah, for sure. Storage compartments, underneath the seats, both sides. You can throw life jackets in there. Yeah, life jackets, safety equipment, purses, shoes, yeah. anything you want to keep dry and out of the weather. Cup holders, more scan struts here. Yep. You got your Charging cup your holders phones. here, grab rail here, scan strut holder. Nice little deep pocket, so when you're laying down, you got a place for your elbow, so it really yeah. gives you that space without encroaching too much on mm -hmm. the interior volume. And Love what you did with this space right here with the head up in the bow. Yeah, it's a unique spot. You know, we a lot of people don't really know what to do with it. And mm -hmm. with our boat with being as narrow as it is, when if you were to slide the seats all the way forward, it really would encroach tightly on on ourselves. So yeah. we built this mini cuddy cabin here and it was a unique space to store stuff and also put the head. And access to all your systems in here, right? All your plumbing. That's right. Yeah, all your plumbing, your pumps, your windlass. Well thought out freshwater sink, and that's actually an electric Jabsco toilet. Yeah, folds back down, disappears. Disappears, and this actually, uniquely enough, uh, can double up as another casting platform oh, yeah. or another place it's for like you to, to me. and fish. You could even mount a bow mount trolling motor up there somewhere if you needed to. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Then back up to this wave piercing bow again. Same as we saw on the other one, buddy, on that other 305. Yeah, same bow shape. Actually, it's pretty much the same hole. The only thing that changed is the delta pad on the DF mm -hmm. compared to the V. It's got a progressive dead rise, 21 dead rise in the transom. So you get a nice smooth entry when you're in that chop or you happen to get airborne. Mm -hmm. You're not going to come down and get that back jarring slam. It's really quite smooth. Such a unique design, you know. You saw Navy ships with this for years. And it's finally been adopted in the recreational boating industry and, and yeah. just kind of blown up now. Seeing it is. It, it's really taken off. And, yeah. you know, we obviously get some... You get some pushback from the traditionalists, but once you get on right. it, come for a ride and you'll see yeah. is what we mm -hmm. say. Yeah. Thanks for the time, John. Hey, appreciate thank you it, very man. much. Really yeah. appreciate you guys Check coming Check out by. Dynamic Boats online. This has been Live the Boat. Drop your comments and questions down below. We'll catch you next time here on Live the Boat. Yeah.